Hi there, I'm just wanting to do a talk. <clears throat> um, and I think I want to talk about um, emotions and what happens to you um, once you start to become more self-aware. Um, because self-awareness, like everything else, everything's a choice. Um, a weak spiritual awakening is a choice. Um, not spiritual awakening is a choice. Everything's choices. Slavery is a choice. Everything's choices. Um, and it's always conscious decisions and also subconscious decisions we're making. But yeah, it's all choices. Um, and when I had the spiritual awakening, yes, it was a choice to awaken. But self-awareness is, is or, not, or lack of self-awareness is what causes people pain. It's like last week, <clears throat> um, I, I commented on a post on one of the social media platforms and, you know, I don't really comment much because I think it's only, you know, the, on the comment sections, it's all the trolls and the, I don't like labels, but narcissistic or insecure or whatever kind of people. And they, they normally hang around there and I don't see the point to it much. Um, and I had a situation where I commented and there was three people, you know, basically accusing me of being a narcissist because I said it was a label. And, you know, you know, obviously those people weren't actually aware of how they were behaving because in that situation, they were actually behaving like the narcissist. And it great, gave me a lot of insight into self-awareness. And that's how I had to have that experience the other day to show to show me that that he, he I'm very I'm very aware of what I'm behaving like or how I'm feeling. But there was people calling everyone else narcissists, but they weren't actually aware of how, of their own behaviour. <laughs> because also what we perceive in others is a reflection of how we see ourselves. And this is not like some it's it's a psychological truth but it's it's also obvious to see that whatever you feel about yourself you're going to see it in others right and there was three people who were internet trolls who didn't actually realize that that, that what they're seeing in others but some but these kind of people to them in their head they're like perfect you see, and they can do nothing wrong, but it's the they they choose to think, oh, my ex partner is the problem. That that they're the problem, but we attract our reflections. Basically, you're like a radio, and on a radio, you can access any one of those frequencies in a radio, and you're your own radio, and any one of those frequencies that you are, you can attract them. So in seventeen hours, um, that's my Apple Mac. Um, making that noise there um, but um, you can choose to look from the angle that everything else is a problem like I used to I I mean I used to live this way or but once you start to look from the angle this is my reflection what is this here to teach me that's a very high vibrational state and that is what heals unhealed parts of yourself instead of actually it's the easy road to actually blame other people and to say, oh, they've done this to me, or they're, they're, they did this or whatever. And that's the easy road. The ego tells you it's the easy road, but it actually isn't the road to feeling better. Because the most important thing isn't blaming everyone else, it's how you feel in that. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter where you go, you're only ever left with how you feel about yourself and your reality. And that manifests your reality, so that's the most important thing. And when we're sitting there blaming everyone else and calling everyone else narcissists or labeling, not only are we entering a very low state of consciousness because labeling things is very narrow-minded, low vibrational. And, and But also, you know, when you're blaming others, you're not actually feeling good because I used to do it, like I say. Um, and so I think the thing should be about stepping back and, and doing what makes you feel better. You know, ask yourself, how do you feel about this? Do you want to continue feeling like this? Because most people, I don't think, 
actually stop themselves and say, "Am I? F is is this making me feel good? Is it better in my life to have this situation in my life or have this relationship or in my life? What is this doing for my growth?" And once you start thinking this way, that's when you start making the right decisions. Even a little decision like calling someone a narcissist, you know, is a situation where you're actually dishing out your your negativity that you feel within you onto an external thing. And so when we're doing, because I used to do it myself before this awakening, I used to do similar things to, the, to that. And then the awakening showed me, um, you know, the obvious truth that, that you know, everything's a, a mirror of how we, how we feel about ourselves. And this is an obvious truth that, that is always there, but people like to live in denial because the ego tells them that it's going to make them feel better, but actually it doesn't. It just keeps you in a low vibration. You, you feel pissed all the time and it's just a never ending cycle of constantly blaming others, but never actually taking responsibility for the reality that we are manifesting. You know, and, you know, once you start um, being self-aware, you start to change your reality, right? Um, and then you start to, like, you know, if I think back to before the spiritual path of mine, I was attracting a certain type of person or situation in my reality. Now it doesn't happen. It's a complete turnaround, and that's because the awakening... Um, was, sh was showing me to look from a different angle at the angle of oneness, the angle that everything is the mirror of me and that what is it there to teach me. When you start to see everything as your guide, everything becomes your guide. When you see, choose to see everything as a problem, that everything becomes a problem. So it's all about how you choose to see things. It's all choices, like I say. And once you realize that you are the power, you are the power because everything must start from nothing. Everything must have a start point of non-existence at some stage. And so if that's true, which must be the must must do, everything must, if you think of it, must have a blank sheet at some some stage, then that means nothing is one nothingness is one infinity. That means there isn't a two. So that's why it's, it's all you. And so this is what this awakening was showing me from day one, and that's how I, I realise everything's just a mirror. But awakening, what is awakening? It's, it was just a conscious decision by myself. I, I sat down one day, had enough, and then you start listening to your soul. So when you're ready, you wake up. And so, but anyway, I'm just gonna end it there. If you're watching, listening to this, you're meant to, everything falls to divine order. You are the divine order, you're the infinity. So thank you very much for watching and listening. Thank you very much. Thank you.